So, uh, let's go. How's it going, guys? Matt here with Carolina Coops. Welcome to Video Chicken. Uh, to my left is my host, Kristen Warren. I think this one really could be a male. Oh, we got one that's hatching? This show is for you guys. This is the bass fiber. Y'all know chickens are the gateway drug into homesteading. We survived with only one trip to the ER. Coyotes are everywhere. It's about time you show up, Matt. Uh -huh. It's a great straw. Where it is time finally for chicken police. They defecate every 12 seconds. Is that true? <laughs> Now it is officially noon because the buzzer went off. <laughs> well, I've never counted. <laughs> That's long road. That's a good one with the, with the courts and everything. And more chickens. Well, the math you do now, Daddy, is chicken math. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down, Matt. But... Calm down. <laughs> This is a very well used tinfoil hat here. This is my favorite one. This is where I really receive. It's hard to break those in. Really receive. Oh, this thing is so broken in. I received some really good messages with this one. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Video Chicken Live. We are live. It is August 4th. What the heck? August 4th, 2023. <laughs> It's a team effort today. <laughs> oh my god! No, I was I was gonna try to be funny, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not feeling it today. We are live oh, August fourth, 2023. Someone told me that today. Like, we can't wait to see you on the show later today. You're so funny. I'm like, I'm not funny. They're like, that's funny. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We made it to Friday. Uh, today's another Q and A. A lot of people are loving the Q and A. Well, Ingrid and I may have a show up our sleeves. For when? Today. Oh, I, this wasn't ran by me. No. Mm -mm. We, we just, we it's just. purposely not run. I yeah. love. You I, guys aren't centered. Can you? Thank you. annoying me. Um, I, I love, I love some good surprises. All right. I'm game for that. All right. Um, I see we got a lot of fun stuff on the, on the table today that I wanted to share. I got some things I got to explain again. Mm. Uh, but we, anyway. should, we should have a segment for this. Like we, this has, get, get this off your chest, Matt. Yes. Well, I'll be Matt's honest with rant. you. Okay, so the truth be told, video chicken What's is going just, on in Matt's world is just for me to get things off my chest. Yes, That's I really see the, that. The and and we, we mark the passing of time on your arm there, your wound. Oh, yeah, I'm all healed up. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. It's still pink. So And peeling. Is that bad? It's not good. Um, <laughs> so, again... Thank you guys for being here. Today is another Q&A, and I guess there's some things we're going to talk about. Oh, I do know what it is because mm -hmm. I had to help Ingrid get the, uh, the the slide in there. She's getting mad because I tried to explain to her. It's hard. It takes a while when you're transitioning from Windows to Mac. And, oh, she gave me the evil eye. And I'm like, you got to stop using a Mac like it's a Windows. Mac makes life so much easier. But you got to use it like a Mac. So, anyways, yeah. So we got that in there. So I guess we're gonna be talking about bantams today. We are. Okay, fine. Oh, and it's show and tell. Oh, I like show and tell. So we got a lot of props. <laughs> we got a lot of props. Mm -hmm. um, I see you got some beautiful eggs. Check this one out. Look They're at so dark. how dark. I'm gonna assume French copper moran. And we got a speckled. Yeah, they. I was carrying them in the car. I I never learned my mm -hmm. lesson. The basket turned over. <laughs> Look at how these are just, I mean, these are one of my favorites. Top two. This and the, uh, ooh, oh, You have oh. a broody hen here now, so. Are these fertile? No, or are we going to go out to, I, don't I mean, think look, so. look at these eggs. Here's the point. If you're brand new to getting chickens and brand new to getting the backyard chickens, yes, you're first going to pick out chickens that you think are best for you. Then you get over the whole, oh, I got a good egg layer, this and that. Then you start going for the beautiful chickens. Yeah, this is like stage three stage in three. your chicken math yes. journey. Yes. <laughs> the egg basket. That is exactly it. <laughs> um, this is the best part because it's it's probably the most. You can't really. It, it, well, the, the camera does do them justice, I was going to say. It's, it's not quite picking up the greens and the. I'm surprised. Oh, I just love oh, it. yeah, because of the green screen. They're 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 just too pretty to. Gorgeous. To eat. Now, are these from? I'm assuming these are from your house. Yeah, yeah. you can't see how green that is. Uh, so just the different shades of green. Beautiful egg basket. And I I have one white. I have a white. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a brown leghorn. Yeah, I saw that. A brown sure. leg horn that lays a white egg. Yeah, leghorn. Yeah, if you want a white egg, it's kind of nice for contrast. It I, is. I don't like the white leghorn. Gotcha. Anyway, so beautiful uh, basket. Also, non-radon point got us a prop. I talked about this 
Oh, we weren't here last week. No, you were on vacation. Yeah, I wish after I was giving us such a hard time I wish about I was taking on, trips and yeah, going on okay. vacation. I wish I, no, I, vacation would be nice. Yes. Well, you were fishing. I'm sorry if that's not a vacation. You were like at the beach at the and beach you weren't fishing. at work. That to me sounds like vacation. I think you're I in could denial. be wrong. It seems like a definition that's of a vacation. vacation. I would love a vacation. The definition of a vacation is I don't have to worry, communicate in any way, shape, or form, do anything work related. Or set up my office in a hotel. Exactly. I mean, give me a break. Mm. Poor Nachi. Well, let's, let's work towards that. You guys need that. You I guys am. deserve that. I'm working towards a long-term okay, vacation <laughs> from Carolina Coops. And when we start our horse stables and uh, get into the whole horse side of the business, I'll be there. Anyways, so I mentioned an idea. Now, it's not locked in yet. It's not official. But we do have the device. Does anyone remember? We talked about this. Uh, Do we remember? Oh, 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 the phone to Dr. Crespo, right? Call Crespo. This is the immediate direct so it, hotline idea before right, Ingrid gets yeah. mad at me. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we got our end. <laughs> we we got, just got to convince her to pick up on her end, That's right. right. So okay. should Dr. Crespo agree, which I think she would, um, this would be for in case of like extreme emergency yeah. Intel information. We just simply don't know, but we must know. We'll be able to pick this up and immediately call directly to Dr. Crespo and she'll give us the real answer. Yeah, okay. and I don't even know how we're gonna make a call through your program. Here. I know. I I this Wait, I we did it once. We We still actually have an actual landline here. Yeah, but you gotta pipe in. We'll we'll figure that out. So we got that prop. Mm. Um, we had to use my laptop, but we had we had Call. Huh? Oh, um, look loud. at we got the official really Carolina Coops cowbell. Um, I love the younger generation when I'm like, dude, you got to give me more cowbell. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers and listeners out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I know this isn't the exact one. I have almost the exact one in my office. So we got cowbells everywhere, and I, I, it's working. I, I have seen people. It, 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 they get what I'm saying when I say I need more cowbell. Anyways, guys, so again, if you're just joining us, we are live. It is August 4th, 2023, and another q and I guess we're going to talk about some bantams. If you have any questions out there, please ask away any comments. Mm. Please let us know, and if you have nothing to say at all, please just give us a wave. Let us know where you're watching from, and the other thing I keep forgetting to mention, if you are not already following, let's say, for example, Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Carolina Coops. I did. Did you see the thing? I, um, I did a video this morning. If people can guess what we're printing in 3D. Well, I know. You know, I thought you guys would like, you know, oh, Carolina Coop something. Nobody's like, wait, you're printing what? Um, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. See if you can guess what we are printing. You want to get to some questions? Yeah, let's go ahead and get yeah, some questions because we got to get some stuff. And I see something right here. I haven't read this yet. And we did a lot of lengthy videos, right, James? In in response to this right here, and I can't wait. Leaky nipples? Leaky nipples. <laughs> Can I get to some questions? Ingrid. You Hi, are, Ingrid. Ingrid, Thank you are you. allowed to do whatever you want to do. How are you Hi, doing, Kristen. Ingrid? I'm fine. Not one. No. Oh, we too good. No, I get it from my plants, in the air. <laughs> get oxygen myself. Thank you. I'm a human. Ingrid, go ahead. So our friend Fish and Matt Ryan is adding pullets in a couple of weeks. How do I do it? How do I keep them out of the nest box till they're ready to lay? So he's getting generation number two. Is he on stage two? Well, he had a broody that he mistakenly tried to stick the chicks under the hen during the day. And she was like pecking yes. at them. And I was like, no, don't do that. You oh, so are these babies? Night. Um, I oh, wait. I don't. I don't. It says pullets. Yeah, they're pullets. So, so I don't... when I hear pullets, define pullet. Uh, generally speaking, that's a female before the point of lay. Yes. Like, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not a baby chick, but. Right, here's what drives me nuts. And here's why I bring this up. You go into these big box stores, okay, that are selling baby chicks, and I'll go up to them and I'll do this on purpose because I can tell they don't know. And it's, I'm just trying to prove a point. I'm like, well, what kind are they? Well, they're pullets. Okay. And they're baby chicks. I'm like, one, they're not pullets. Because to me, the pullet is like a teenage female hen, right? I think it can refer to chick 
to. Oh no, it can't. You well, can't that's in have the catalogs. It. They're called you, pullets. Oh, give me a break. Instead of female. So how can you reason. have it both ways then? You just set it's up. It's just up to the point of lay. At any point, up to a oh, female. Oh, it's up, up to. to. Yes. But well, generally then, speaking, that they're teenagers though, because you call a chick a chick, right? So that's where that comes from. Right. So there's the technical, and then there. So um, he's gonna have a. I just thought of something that where that gets difficult if they're young, and he's already got laying hens, and you don't want them going in the nest box, the pullets, but you're you're gonna want the mature ones going to the nest box. That's why I created the lovely panels. That's that I put right on at once I know that they're done laying in but before they go to bed I put those in there on that covers the nest box I made with like Luan and mm -hmm. some nice hardware to make it look nice and I painted it and just stick those on and then the little ones can't roost in there perfect yeah that, that makes good sense it works really well. As a matter of fact, it's on Kristen's like products we yeah. need to develop right. for to sell. New product development list. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of new product development, stay tuned in a little bit when we get through some questions in the talk about bantams. I got something brand new, hot off the printer okay. to show you guys. I'm really excited about it. it came Do we out have really to get well. somebody to fetch it? No, it's over there. Okay. Just All don't right. look. All right. Pretend you didn't see. You got to act so, surprised. So, yeah, we almost answered that question. Right. And also, if they're the same, like, if they're not the same size, I don't know that I would put them all in that six. He's got a six by 12 American. So mm -hmm. I don't know that I would stick them all together. Um, Get a tried, basement. Yeah. yeah try I to guess. block off the bottom. It depends on the size, Matt. So I guess we need more information from you. Um, but if one, you're doing the, what Ingrid mentioned, you She's talking about blocking off the nest spots. Teenagers, he says right. teenagers. R right around dusk so they can't sleep in there. Yeah, and the other thing is I know when Kristen brought over a bunch of chickens for me, I think four, that's when I got like midge and, and whatever, mm. but they were like full-sized or ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were like and, spring chickens full-grown. And then I, once you put them in a little gang, as long as they have some room yeah. to get away from each other, they kind of, they're okay because they form their own little gang. So yeah. there's also that. Yes, Matt. A pullet is a young adolescent hen. The term's only ah. used for female chickens. Young males are called cockerels. Pullets are normally somewhere between 16 weeks and 52 weeks old. That's me patting Matt on the back. He's right. Well. I'd like to point out when you're right because you're always right. Well, I wouldn't say I'm right. I wouldn't say Miguel's right. Um, but there's someone that agrees with me. So we need to, oh, oh, that's why, this is why we need this. That's why we need this. I would be calling right now, especially, yeah. That's, that's, you don't want to waste it. I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, you uh, you've see. only got three lifelines. <laughs> yeah, really. Let's three. not take advantage of uh, Why friend. would you think I would take advantage of her? I would absolutely. Because you reached for the phone. As an example <laughs> of, if anyone's going to know what is the true definition, um, of a uh, the bat phone, yeah, it's the Crespo call Crespo phone. Uh, where I did you see. find that phone, uh, Nan? Nan, where did you find this lovely? Oh my gosh! I gotta keep some of my stuff secrets. Good. Okay. You know the best thing to do with one of these phones? Give them to a kid. Oh my! We had uh, Jetta, my ten year old daughter, has her cousins down. They're all pretty much the same age. They had no clue, no clue. <laughs> That's funny. I'm getting like different, different answers. So one says pullets are young hens that are not yet laying eggs, but will be soon. They are beyond the chick stage, but not fully grown adults. But then another one says pullets are immature chicks that have already been sexed. This means that the hatchery was checked chicks and selected from those that are female. So that's why you'll go to a hatchery and they'll call them pullets. Um, so. Hmm. It, it's just yeah like i said it, yeah. it can mean anything up to the point of lay or any point and then i also have do chickens like to be petted and i would say yes uh <laughs> so someone was saying I, I forgot already who it was but yeah exactly we're gonna put some type of logo in the middle of this phone and uh, it does pop out it's gonna be great i think we should have an official maybe a picture of dr crespo yes right there. A, a dr crespo with like you know Secret Service glasses on or something like that. <laughs> I saw Bruce say hi. He called it the bat phone. 
Hey, Bruce, do we have the road crew there yet? Oh, my gosh. Oh, God, road crew. Here Boy. we go. This is for you, Matt. Oh, he had a very detailed email that he sent in about this. I'm adding a Predator apron around my coop. However, the block foundation that my coop is on is raised out of the ground. I would need to attach the apron on the block foundation instead of the wood. He saw uh, one of our coops that we did, and we had the same situation, and we didn't. Yeah, you just don't. You don't attach it. Don't need to. Okay. Do you put it under the block? Mm -mm. No. You just keep it butted up to it. Okay. And I would then put something on top of it, some type of hardscaping, whether it's stone or immediately go to the soil. If you are extremely worried about something digging underneath, what you would have to get this. This is why I don't like block. I'll be honest with you. I always try to discourage people from using like blocks, cinder blocks, patio blocks, because it causes a lot more work. And it is a great example. But if the block is already in, what you can do, and this would absolutely work, is some ground contact rated pressure treated lumber. Get a uh, hammer drill, a masonry bit, and some tap cons. And just some basic hand tools. Yeah. It, exactly. What everybody has in their yeah. toolbox. Absolutely. I, yeah, I, got, I got that in my car. Absolutely. Sure. Um, so, and then drill, put, put pressure treated around the outside of the cinder block at the bottom. What, what size? Two by four is fine. And then you're going to drill it and you need a hammer drill because it, you know, you have like, I don't know, 30,000 beats per minute or whatever. It, it vibrates that masonry bit so you can drill right per perfectly into the block. And then your tap cons are designed to go into concrete, designed to go through pressure treated. So you just tap con it in and then shoot your apron on. I would have to say to be really technical and safe, that would be the right thing to do. I can tell you, knock on wood, when we've ran into the situations, even with concrete um, footing, I don't see any reason as long as it's up tight mm -hmm. and you got something down on top of it. If you're just laying it on the ground, yes, that'll be a problem. And let's remember what we've learned is predators are opportunistic. Mm -hmm. They're they're probably going to go to your neighbor's coop that isn't as well secured. They are everywhere. That's right. That's right. So fishing Matt Ryan said he built a divider for the basement. So, so yeah, yeah once they get call. yeah once they good get job. once they get bigger, I would. I would do that if you're having problems with youngsters using the nest boxes to sleep in because they will be getting kicked off the roost bars. You just kind of have to force the issue. Yeah. All right. We've got Cooper's World. Question. Is feeding corn on the cob not a good idea in the summer? As I heard, it can make them, make them too hot. My girls love it, and we've spoiled them with it. Great question. I've never heard of this. I can see why. Is it because of the sugar? Yeah, I've heard that you can give scratch, um, especially corn, in the winter before bed to help them keep warm. Yeah, because digesting it helps their warm. body heat. Yeah. I wouldn't think the opposite <coughs> would be an issue, though. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know that it would make them too hot, but maybe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe a little bit less in the summer. Thing. Yeah, or do it during the day. Uh, morning Yeah. treat, maybe? I yeah, don't there know. you go. There you go. See, it's not, we're yeah. making it too hard. Yeah. Right? Don't make it so hard. <laughs> they're, we, they're we're survivors. horrible at that. We had, that came up in yesterday's conversation. Uh, Ingrid and I had a meeting with something cool coming up that Good. I'm sure I can't talk about, but it's really, really yes, cool. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Mm -mm. And uh, <laughs> it's so nice to, to <laughs> hear try. people are finally realizing some things. All right. That was very cryptic. Um, <laughs> question. I have two roosters, 13 hens, three months old. The roosters are fighting the, the roosters were fighting the other day, and now all the chickens stay in the coop most of the day. Should I get rid of one of our roosters? I'd get rid of both of them. <laughs> one or both, yes. Go ahead. I don't. I'm I don't just... know if they're the same age. I assume they are. That's a little young to be fighting. Uh, if you're going to keep a rooster, it might be they might be old enough to identify which one's the most people friendly because you definitely want a one that's. And they definitely get Not more aggressive as they mean. get older. Yeah, they have that. I just, I if you absolutely have to have surging. a rooster, get rid of one of them. And what? why don't you remind people what the ratio rooster to hen would be best? I've heard different things. But yes. At least 10. Industry standard is 10, 10 to hens, 25. 10 hens to every one rooster. Right. But the problem with that, and I've seen it with my own eyes, and it is awful. There's that one unicorn hen that is just whew, the favorite. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, so she really takes a beating. And um, I, don't, I just I don't 
I love how beautiful roosters are. I love when an animal has a job. Yeah. But, man, maybe on a big farm with an extremely large flock. Yeah, and I don't mind uh, hearing the crowing from a distance, but I do not like having crowing outside my home. And it seems like it's always all day. Do you want to read? Also trying to int introduce a couple young, 12 weeks, Easter eggers to my flock. Separated them for a while, but two of my older girls are still terrorizing them. Any suggestions? So this is two on two. That makes a difference. They're four months old. I think it just happens. Yeah. I, you either have to wait it out. Like, it, it can take two weeks. Space. Yes. Make More the more space. The yes. more space they have, the better second feeding station. They can be territorial over their food and water. Mm -hmm. So have a temporary second station. Um, and they are going to peck each other for about two weeks. Yep. Got to let them do it. You got to let them duke it out. And if you if you te separate them, if it's bad, and then you separate them, they're just it's just going to keep on. It prolongs the prolongs. assimilation. Yeah. So you, yeah. you're better off. It, that'll stress them out even more than just waiting it out. Marion, Mary, Miriam. Hi, Rudy. Miriam Webster Dictionary. Pull it. A young hen specifically. I never heard of that word before. Have you? I think you just missed the. That is a new word, but I think there's supposed to be a space there. Yeah, there's a space. Oh, sorry. Okay. A hen of the domestic chicken less than a year old. Yeah. Interesting. That kind of goes along with what you're saying. Well, no, they can lay it after like five months. Yeah, so that's... I don't agree with that one. The Webster Dictionary is way out of touch. Yeah, they're not chicken people, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are in so much trouble saying that. Oh, my goodness. That, um, but, yeah, I think with the, with the, with the chickens, because, I mean, I have my youngest one that's still getting picked on by mm -hmm. the, her mother that raised her, her teen mm -hmm. mom. I mean, it's just, I think it just happens, and it and it's upsetting, but I think what you said is All correct. All right, listen, let me, okay, okay, we're going to get back to some more questions. Again, if you're just joining us, we are live August 4th, 2023. Today, a lot of Q&A, and I guess apparently- Show and tell? We're, I guess there's a show and tell. <laughs> Ingrid and Kristen have been cooking up something that has to do with bantams, uh, so we're going to talk about that. And actually, Kristen and I just did a video that's long overdue. I don't know when it's going to come out, but just keep an eye out for it. Um, we got to have a conversation about s silkies. Uh, really? Yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do. What's yeah. going on, Ingrid? I don't know. Maybe you should show. Um, Wait, what's going on? Maybe, maybe we well, should. Oh, no, no, no. I, hey, hey, I got stuff to get you off my chest. You mean this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What this, you got there, Kristen? This is a black silky. Isn't it pretty? Oh Isn't God. it pretty, Matt? Mm -hmm. You want to take it home? So God, cute. show the people. If you have never seen the feet on Silky, I love I, it. I, it's so funny. Someone tell me why. Why? Who? What? What person was like? You know what? Their feet aren't ugly enough yet. Let's give them an extra toe. Oh, yeah. look at the grip. Oh, I know. that extra toe is a little useless. Don't oh, you like gosh. those polydactyl cats? I love it. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, I have I mixed one of those. feelings about it. I only like them because they're unique, but. Yeah. Well, these are unique. <laughs> oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, so here we have a silky. Is this your silky? This is the silky we used for when yes. we did the video. Where did you find that silky, Kristen? Uh, locally. Facebook. <laughs> I mean, where where did you take it from? This morning. Oh, this morning it was in the. Yeah, coop. you left it here. I did. In one of the coops. That's right. <laughs> it, it, it may just stay here. Um. Yeah. I even went and got her food. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome. Look at her. So yeah, silky. So I guess we're gonna be talking about you know silkies are a bantam, right. uh, but silkies are the worst chicken to ever have, and we're gonna probably talk about that today. That but is. Matt's opinion. It's yes. not necessarily. Yeah, I have to constantly write that on <laughs> YouTube comments now. Is the other one getting upset because you they took her? They are such a pain in the butt. So we're going to talk about that today. I guess this is going to probably turn into these, the Silky yeah, Show. Yeah, these are. Now listen, listen. Okay, first. These are not not as tame as, you know. Cracker Munch. Our house and, bantams. But. Yeah. This is her little friend, which I just love her. Who doesn't have house bantams? Who doesn't have a hammer drill? <laughs> All right, all right, yes. Yeah, so here's another one. This one is a um, old English game, self blue. It's a little gray bantam. So it's like Midge's size. She is adorable. 
and she might have to go in my purse. No, her legs look good. They do. Those are some good looking legs. Smooth, mm-hmm. dark. Look at those toenails. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, she was. Do you have so a foot fetish? Those two are like bonded, are they not? Uh, I would hope actually, so. they they were litter mates. Yeah, they seem like she got upset when you took the silky out. Yeah. All right, listen. But the other two I have in the bag over here have been scrapping. All right, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> They're listen. not litter mates, and you may, can tell. May I get to a point right. that has to be talked about? All right, talk about uh, it. So, guys, listen. We sell these horizontal nipples because we like them. They're great in so many ways, and we sell just a nipple. So if you're making your own water bar, good for you. That's awesome. Uh, there are two ways to install these, and I've talked about it for years. We actually finally did an official video of the two ways to do it. I can promise you. If you buy these and you do it the way I say to do it, one way or the other, they will not leak. However, once in a blue moon, if you do have it leak on the outside, I'm not talking about the inside, you can wrap it with some Teflon tape and put it back in the hole and it will seal it. But you should have to. Um, I don't know how. Help me out. Oh, God. Why? Why? It's like they wait to take a dump right now oh did you bring in some oh you should go bring in some of the uh soldier fly no, I, I have them trained i have a picture of you and when they poop on command you know i i give them a treat so whenever they see you they poop all right listen listen so I, it's a lot of effort. should carol Thank you for appreciating it. should <laughs> should carolina coops be res- oh god <laughs> oh all that training it or- almost got on the phone come on come on we're trying i'm trying to make a point here and you're just like oh no, no, not on the phone. <laughs> should should we be responsible for the craftsmanship of drilling a hole, making sure you're using the right size drill bit so that your nipples don't leak? We should give all the customer all the information to be successful. We have. Okay. We do. And we're about to step up our game. But nothing upsets me more because we work so hard to have five-star reviews. And I don't know. If well, you, that one's two. At least it's not one. I don't care. Anything less than five, I am not happy with. You you know that. So, so we I didn't even see that. I, I don't know Make where it, it came from. Make it into a paper from. airplane and fly it over to it. <laughs> where uh, did the it says, you go Some on? of these leak despite using the correct drill bit. Technically, the nipple's not leaking if it's leaking on the outside. You have to install them correctly. So we did a video on the two different ways to install them correctly. And I have, we had a water bar come back to us that the customer says was leaking. And when I tested it, one was, not all four. And I did a video, what to do with some Teflon tape. And actually, not only sealed it, we went out to the other thing I think people do, and this is a huge mistake. Taking your water bar, just because there is a hose fitting on it, doesn't mean hook it directly to your garden hose with 60 to 80 PSI. Wow, good catch. That was catch. beautiful. Um, these are not designed to be hooked up to your hose off your house. Too much pressure. So hopefully that made sense. Okay. Um, I, while I'm while I'm on a roll and your chickens are pooping everywhere, Kristen, check this. Ooh, out. there's another poo. Wow. Why? I thought you always say like defecate at night. Fifty percent of the time. Well, the other fifty percent of the time is on video chicken. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say this one's like. <laughs> Maybe they're a little stressed out. Yeah. Pets that shit at the back. And I see the smear on the table really? and the reflection like a freshly waxed no, Camaro. That's, that's just the moisture from the wet wipe. <laughs> Show me. Oh, you do got baby or wet wipes. Yeah, oh, she, she came right. prepared right, today. Are you done? Are you done now? No. No, there's more. Don't right. order yet. Check <laughs> this out. Huh? Huh? What do you think? Wow. It's fancy and schmancy. Yeah, that's uh, a great fit. So this is it's a, almost like it was made for that. Yeah, I want to share this with guy uh, with with uh, everyone on Video Chicken to show you guys that um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, especially for our customers that are installing their own water system through their own coop or or whatever. Maybe it's a coop you bought from us. Uh, you got to cut a hole through the half inch hardware cloth, and I can I'll be honest with you, that's a little scary at first because well, you're cutting a hole through the screen, and you got to do it just right so that you don't accidentally make an opening so big that a snake can get through and i've been wanting to make this double-sided escutcheon 
for the stainless steel hose for our rain barrel system, our water bar system. And I finally got around to buying a 3D printer, which I love. So addicting. So addicting. You just got it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I barely slept last night. Um, what do you think? I love it. That is actually very impressive. Thank you. So what I am saying is hopefully soon these will be offered as an option. Um, it's not necessary, but I know one, how these things go. Mackenzie's watching. She's like, oh, dear God, you did it now. Um, I like it. I think it gives it a great look. It gives people wiggle room. All right. And, of course, we never want any type of predator, whether it's a predator to your eggs or your chickens, to get into your coop. Here's the problem I have right now. How many pieces, can you focus? How many pieces do you see here? Uh, two. Four. Okay? Because you have to sandwich. Uh, so there's four pieces. Okay. For one hose. How many hoses on a uh, one of our basic water systems? Two. Two. So how many total pieces will you need? Eight. Guess how long it takes to print one piece right now? An hour. One hour. <laughs> Ooh, good guess. Eight hours. So we got some work to do, but I just want to show that to you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, we got also stainless steel screws. You probably can't see it. There's four screws that screw in there. They're actually a type a screw for a, a window, and they're painted black. Really, really nice. Let me know what you guys think. So there's some comments about the leaky nipples. Please, please. So please. Cooper's World says, I find drilling the hole in the bucket with the bit is not always smooth. The edges are rough, and that's why it leaks. Maybe I need a new bit. Okay, thank you. Who, who, who said that? Cooper's, Cooper's World. World. Cooper's World, thank you. Because you know what? Nicole, if you are listening, because Nicole is working on the revised instruction card that comes with the nipples. And we're going to have a QR code on here soon. So you go right to the video if you need to see exactly how I do it. Nicole, if you are listening, I'm not sure how to word this. I agree. I've done it. I don't like putting them in buckets. So maybe we need to put on here, don't advise, don't recommend putting in buckets. I think we were going to advise that you use the tap instead of a drill. Regardless. Really? What happens is. It, oh, because it's not thick It's enough. almost like a burr. It kind of kind of yeah. catches it. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and So the PVC is thicker, mm -hmm. right, than, a, than yep. the bucket that you would use. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, th that's another great point. I don't know how sharp we got to put on there. Sharp drill bit. Um, the last thing I want to do is include drill bits, and I thought about it. Hmm. Um, and Teflon tape. I saw someone said, "Well, yeah. include Teflon." I don't want to include Teflon tape. Because you I don't always wanna... say, "Don't use it." You for don't the need it. Why do I? I don't want to charge people for something you don't need. But if you do need it, then Teflon tape is so cheap. Just go. Yeah. You know, you go buy it. I don't like to be wasteful. I don't want to start sending out stuff that'll never get used. Yeah, I agree. And Teflon tape is something that most people have, unlike a compressor and. Whatever. Like Everyone stone, has a compressor. Just make sure. Just make sure. <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> make sure when you use Teflon tape, and this is true for any plum fitting, you don't want it to backlash. Okay? So you got to go with the thread. So in most cases, you're going to go clockwise with it. So when you go in, it doesn't backlash. It keeps it nice and tight. Matt, next time Matt loses a bet, he gets a tattoo of a. Oh, hell. Oh, <gasps> speaking of tattoo. Huh? Show and tell. Matt got a tattoo. Yeah, uh, you can't see it. Anyways. Well, your your mic is in the way. No, That's right. a queen of diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah, finally got it. Waited twenty two years for this. Uh, Did they uh -huh. do that in one day. Oh yeah, four four hours, six hours. Um, wow. Yeah, he. Did was, it hurt? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Two well, hours is about as much as I can take at a time. Yeah, it was about I want it was four or six hours. I can't remember what kept hurting. He was rough. He kept rubbing it and rubbing it. But I tell you, <laughs> best tattoo place I've ever been to. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot, and but I'm very very happy with it. it came out really well. Now, if anyone did, I ever ask if anyone can guess the song that it represents from the Grateful Dead. I'm, I'm curious who the Deadheads are out there. My favorite, probably my favorite song of all time. Hmm. Definitely my favorite dead song. Um, <laughs> you know, we've talked about getting chicken tattoos. And it was usually on a drunken night when we're on the road and think how we didn't. But um, yeah, you, you, would... you should get a tattoo of a silky. Mm -hmm. I have a chicken tattoo. I'm the only one that has a chicken that tattoo. That conversation comes up more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't get a silky, though. If you were to get a chicken tattoo, what would you? 
I would get Americana. I would get something no uh, like a uh, cracker muncher. I don't remember what cracker muncher. Well, is. I well, well I have it right here. Yeah, right. Maybe we can I show. Do. do you just travel everywhere? You are a chicken pusher. I oh my god, you sure do. There's cracker muncher. <laughs> are they gonna fight? Cracker Muncher does not. Look at that tail. She, she yeah, is see, cool. That, that, that would is make a nice tattoo. You are yeah. right. But that silhouette. She is. She Ooh, reminds, she's part Sarama. She right? is showing off. Uh, okay. Yeah. All she's right. used to the camera. So speaking of all these bantams, I don't know if you want to answer a couple more questions. Well, Again, let's, if you're let's just, those, hold on, if you're just joining us, help us break nine or uh, break a hundred. I got one more. You do not. Oh my. God. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, what? so cute. Is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that the one nobody likes? Yes. Oh, she's so pretty. She's though. very lonely in the yard. Aww. Like she gets wanna... kicked off the roost, and Aww. she seems sad and depressed. Um, she we... was happier when we brought her inside. We are live. It is August fourth, twenty twenty three. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Do everything you can to help share the show. All Ooh, right. I'm almost a rhymer. So can yeah. I just yes? Hit this? Let's let's hit it. Bantams. Okay. 